Hello everyone, it's the Graft here for your Thursday morning news on Bulletin. It's a packed programme today with all of this to come. We send two news on fans to a top secret Doctor Who event. And I'm here in Nice talking all things Junior Eurovision. But first up this morning, how the government plans to get and spend money over the next year was revealed yesterday in the autumn budget. Now, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Jeremy Hunt, announced a big cut to a tax known as national insurance and a rise in the national minimum wage. Now, the government are hoping that these changes might slow down rising prices known as a cost of living crisis. However, the Office for Budget Responsibility predicted that the UK's growth is going to be smaller than expected following the budget announcements. Well, you guys can find out loads more detail about this and about what was announced over on the New Jam website. Next up, listen if you are a big music fan. Junior Eurovision takes place this Sunday, where 16 countries will compete to be crowned the winner. Well, Nina is in Nice in France to keep us up to date with all the latest from the competition. Bonjour, Nina. Bonjour, De Graft. Yes, I'm here in Nice on the southeast coast of France and I'm in the lovely sunshine. I'm here because, as you said, it's the Junior Eurovision this Sunday. It's the 21st edition. We've got 16 countries taking part. We have Estonia taking part for the very first time. There's also Germany returning after taking a year away. And, of course, we have the UK. He'll be represented by girl band Stand Unique. Now, it's children who are age 9 to 14 who'll be taking part representing their country now it's been a busy week for them already with loads of rehearsals but it all started on monday with a welcoming ceremony watch this lights cameras and plenty of flag action the French city of Nice rolled out the red carpet for some of the brightest young stars with an opening ceremony. And of course, there was plenty of sparkle. Why France of all these countries? Well, that's down to this. <laughs> Lissandro won last year's competition with his song, Oh Man Man, a song about believing in yourself regardless of what happens. I managed to catch up with him a little earlier. Lissandro, thank you so much for speaking to Newsround. You won last year. Huge congratulations. Thank you. What has life been like since you won? In the beginning, it's a very uh, special. The, the people uh, recognize me in the, in the street is very cool. But uh, one month, two months uh, after, and uh, actually my life is normal, like before Eurovision back to normal life and when you won how did you feel when you heard France and your name being called out? Many emotions, uh, it's joy, uh, an honour to, to win and yes it's, it's, a, it's an, an incredible joy. What advice would you give for this year's contestants? Uh, Leave the moment, leave the moment, enjoy and uh, and uh, believe in uh, in the victory because uh, it's possible and uh, yes, yes, believe in uh, in your uh, in his victory. Brilliant, that is lovely. Well, thank you so much for talking with us thank on Thank you, uh, we, merci, merci, merci. Great tips from Lissandro there. Just enjoy it. Sounds easy, doesn't it? And that's exactly what Stand Unique, who are representing the UK, will be trying to do. I managed to chat to them yesterday, and they're saying they're feeling really ready to perform. Now, join me back here tomorrow for that interview with Stand Unique, and I'll bring you all the latest from the competition. Back to you, De Graft. Ah, oh, thanks for that, Nina. Next, Doctor Who, the long-running TV series with adventures through time and space, turns 60 today. Now, to celebrate, three anniversary specials are being released, starring David Tennant back as the Doctor. Now, the first episode, called The Star Beast, comes out this Saturday, but at a secret event earlier this month, two New Zealand press packers, Micah and Carter, 
got to see the special before anyone else. And they also spoke to the show's writer, Russell T Davies. By the way, their report contains some flash photography. The famous Battersea Power Station. Located on the banks of the River Thames, today it's used for shops and restaurants. But tonight it's the venue for a top secret Doctor Who event. Hi News Round, I'm Micah. And I'm Carter. And we love Doctor Who. We've been watching it since we were five years old. But the series has been going on for much longer. This year's its 60th birthday. And there's a lot going on to celebrate. But who can tell us more about it? I think this is the best interview they've ever had on Newsround. How nerve-wracking is it being in charge of Doctor Who's 60th birthday? Is there a lot of pressure? Well, I mean, there's worse pressure. It's worse if I was a nurse or a doctor or something like that. But you are right, because do you know why? Because so many people love it. The thought of letting the episode letting you down, or if you fell asleep during it, I'd be mortified. So please like it. You've written Doctor Who before, so why did you want to come back? What could be better than like monsters and chases and explosions and things like that? So I genuinely missed it. I missed it and I never stopped thinking about it because I've loved it since I was your age. Doctor Who is on Disney as well as the BBC. Has that meant the show has changed? And if it has, how? It means we've got a bit more money. So not a fortune. We're not up there with a Star Wars budget or something, but a nice bit of money. So the spaceships look a bit better and some of the monsters look a bit better. We live in a huge world now where there's so many science fiction shows. Doctor Who has to keep up, so it needed a bit of cash. But really, it's absolutely the same old show. It's the same old TARDIS. It's, wait till you see the TARDIS, it's huge. It's, a great, it's just bigger. Uh, that's the best example, actually. It's the same old TARDIS, you know, with the consoles and that pillar in the middle with the lights, but bigger than you've ever seen before. If you could choose one reason or thing that has meant Doctor Who has lasted for 60 years, what would it be and why? I think that would be regeneration. The fact that the Doctor can change and change into anyone. We've seen men Doctors, we've seen women Doctors, we've seen, we're now about to see Shuti Katwa, who's the world's first black Doctor, and that just means anything can happen. I think people love that. I think that's what's kept it going. Do you think that it would be possible for the Doctor to regenerate into a child, or more specifically, two identical twin brothers? <laughs> I can't think where that question came from. I'm going to say yes. Yes, OK, you heard it here first. That would be a great thing to do. Do you have anyone in mind? <laughs> would you like to be the Doctor? Yeah. OK. I'll bear it. I can't promise, because there would be a lie if I promised. But as you, do you know what? Keep watching, and you will see over these next few episodes that absolutely anything can happen. Oh, thanks, guys. Right, that's all we have time for for today. But as always, we'll be with you bright and early tomorrow morning. We'll see you then, guys. Bye.